Hi, this is Kerry from FreeAudacityTutorials.com, and this is beginner tutorial number four. I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Zoom tool, which you will find right over in this area. I'm also going to be teaching you how to select sections of your audio for editing using the Zoom tool, and I'm going to teach you how to cut, copy, and paste things in your, uh, in your selection. So let's get started. Uh, the Zoom tool over here is really helpful for doing editing. Uh, what I have here is a, a track where I have put, uh, it's a stereo track, which means it has two channels. So you're going to have, you're going to have a channel here and a channel here. That's what it means by two channels. All right. So when you have a stereo track and you do selections or editing on that track, you are going to have the same thing happen in both channels. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this for you, and I just put together a section that was uh, pretty clearly delineated what each thing was, just so when I start doing some edits, you'll see the difference. Okay, so listen to this. This is section one of the audio. This is section two of the audio. This is section three of the audio. And this one is section four of the audio. Okay, so say that I wanted this section three right here, and see what I'm doing is I'm selecting that that section. I put my cursor over here with my selection tool on. I put my cursor here, I hold down the mouse button on the left, and I pull across the section that I want. Say that I want this third section to be put in front of the sec second section. Well, I select it like I just did. I go up here to the cut. Uh, tool, I click in front of the number two tool and I paste. And there it is. And let's listen to it now. This is section one of the audio. This is section three of the audio. This is section two of the audio. And this one is section four of the audio. Now, what if I wanted to say section three of the audio and then for some silly reason say again of the audio? Well, how am I going to figure out how to do that? Well, I'm going to use my Zoom tool. And what I'm going to do is take the selection tool, click right here, and play four of the audio. So it's this last section right in here that says of the audio. So I'm going to put my cursor there, and I'm going to zoom in so that I can see more clearly where the words, where the sounds are on the sound wave. So I'm going to play it again. And this one is section four of the audio. So of the audio begins right here. I noticed it as the cursor went by as it was playing. So I'm going to take that section and I'm going to cut it out. And then I'm going to zoom back out where I can see my third section right here. And I'm going to play to find out where I want to place it. This is section three of the audio. And if I wanted to say of the audio again right there, silly, but just for case of example, there we go. Now let's listen to it. This is section three of the audio of the audio. Do you understand what I did? I took the other audio off of here and I put it there. And I was able to do that with that kind of precision because I clicked and used my zoom in tool to find where it was. Okay. Now, sometimes your words will be run together so much that it's very difficult to do that. And you can't actually do it without uh, being able to, uh, without it sounding on, I guess is what I'm saying. So that is the, the Zoom tool to help you uh, get in on a selection and find exactly what you want to edit out. Now, this has all been done on a stereo track. Now, if this were a mono track, let me show you something you need to be aware of. What I'm going to do is change this to a mono track, and I'm going to go to my arrow key here and go down to split stereo to mono. So now I have two mono tracks. Okay. Now, I can do a selection up here without it affecting the other channel down here because this channel is actually now a new track. Now, if it is, is a thing where I want both of these things moved, I have to uh, click here and move my cursor down as I select to make sure it gets both tracks. If I don't do that and I only get this one and I don't notice it, and say I cut it out and I put it down here, listen to what's going to happen. My audio is going to be fine during this section right here. Right here, it's going to be fine. It's going to sound exactly the same, so you won't even notice it's different tracks. But when I get to these two, you're going to have conflicting audio. So listen to what that sounds like. This is section one of the audio. 
This, this is section three of the audio. Of the audio. Of the audio. And this one is this section is four. Section two of this the is audio. section three of and the audio. And this one is section four. Audio. So do you see what happened? Because I did not select both tracks. You have to be very careful of that. Now, where this is particularly becomes a problem, let me uh, open up a track here. First, I'm going to close out both of these, okay, because I want to show you where this really becomes a problem. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I am going to open a track that I uh, know is the type that I need to have to demonstrate to you here, okay? Now, it's reopening in a new window because it didn't import it, so I'm just going to let that load. What this is, is it's a conversation that I had with someone as uh, an, for an episode of my podcast at the ChristianHomeAndFamily.com podcast. Um, this is a conversation with a friend of mine, Rob Reno, and what I did is I recorded this through Skype. And when you record through Skype, it records, you have the option to record in what is called joint stereo. And what that means is, just like a normal stereo track, you're going to have two channels but one of those channels will be one of the people in the conversation, and one of them will be the other person in the conversation. So I'm going to click here and use my zoom tool to get in a little closer so you can see that the two pieces of audio are staggered, where one person's voice is speaking and then the other person's voice is speaking. So let's click right here and listen for just a moment. I got answered, so. Yeah, that's great. That's very encouraging. Um, I always, I always appreciate hearing that people heard the word of God and not me. Yeah, so, yeah, amen. So that amen. is helpful. That is very you, helpful. You've taken a big, uh, big leap, right? Okay, so you see what I'm saying? Has my voice talking and then Rob's voice? Well, this is a stereo track, so they are connected. Do you see this connection right here? They're connected. Where if you edit on one, it's going to edit both. But if you're, for some reason, moving this into mono, which I do quite often because I record my podcast in mono, if I split this stereo to mono, they are no longer connected here. So if I make an edit just on my track and do not take care to make sure that I am moving down to the second track as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut part of my conversation out, but not part of the other person's conversation out. And so what it's going to do is it's going to put gaps in our conversation where what they say is not going to match what I am asking. If, if say, I were asking a question and they were responding. And so you have to really be careful when you have a split or a joint stereo track that you turn into two different mono tracks. You have to make your edits here very, very carefully. Now, as I always say, and I'm going to say it again, as you're working on editing and working on a, a project or a, an Audacity file, always go down here and hit your save. Give it a name and save that project repeatedly as you're working on the project so that you don't have to redo things that you uh, have spent a long time working on. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Tutorial number four, beginner tutorial. Check me out at freeaudacitytutorials.com where I do podcast cover art. I also do website headers, both at a very reasonable cost. And I also do podcast consulting. Check it out, freeaudacitytutorials.com.